Hey guys, Darth Glorik here, back with part, what actually, what the heck part are we on? Part 11? Possibly, possibly part 11 of our Hitman Absolution playthrough. So, last time we got a lot of stuff done, I would give you an exact synopsis, but I don't remember. Uh, what happened last time? Oh, right, okay, so last time we did some missions, um, there was a lot of sped up footage in the last part, because there was a lot of just big gun battle, because my ability to stealth is L vanished, so... Yeah, I'm not always necessarily good at stealth. Some days I just, I can't do it, and other days I'm silent as, you know, uh, silent as an assassin. So, you know, it's just, I don't know, it just it depends on the day. And most days, my ability to, like, be quiet is not very good. Regardless, though, uh, we are on the trail of Victoria. We continue to track her down, and we are picking off their men one by one. And we're slowly making progress. The Crooked Sheriff is now dead, and uh, good riddance to him, because he was a scumbag. And now we are uh, continuing on our way, so let's hit it. Uh, I, by the way, I have decided on uh, our next main game part, and I'm so incredibly excited. So uh, after this, I will, will be recording that, so be sure to stay tuned if you're interested. Also, tomorrow um, is actually going to be a, a positive anime review, so there will be no Hitman part tomorrow, but instead we will be doing an anime review. So, And then, of course, you know, part two of our new main game. So anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, hop into it. Maybe someone's buying a new suit. Part three, one of a kind. Yeah, you should do it, man. Go back to being super suave, Hitman. Get a new suit. You deserve it. Forty-seven. Tom, I need a new suit. Oh, Mister Forty-seven. What a pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes, I can tell. You need a new suit. Now, please follow me. Come this oh, way. is he blind? Way. Come on. Skills. Come to my dressing room. All right, sorry. I was. There's nothing to see. I just let's just follow Tom. He knows. Please. Yes. Wow, he's fast. All right, now we're back. Over your old suit. Look, handcrafted wool. Oh, that's great. Seams, Look at it. Invisible stitching. And, of course, silk linings. Thanks, Tom. You do real MVP. We look freaking awesome. Yes, we're back. We're all clean. We have a new, really cool looking suit. I'm ready for bloodshed. This is a suit for killing people. Yo, oh, that's great. Wow. There was all kinds of stuff to get in there. There was evidence, there was a statue bus, scissors, metal pipe, measuring tape, iron, fire extinguisher book, there's a sewer worker, ice cream truck driver, hot sauce factory chef, and a bird costume. What on earth? I didn't even I didn't even think to look around. It just felt like it wasn't an actual thing. Alright, well, whatever. The point is we have a new suit, right? So who cares? Ten million right now. 
Like we agreed. Well, now about the money. I don't have that kind of signing authority. You what? You don't have what? Are you fucking kidding me? Ha oh, ha! No, no, no. See, that's not how this works, partner. Because you better find someone who's got the authority right now, or the deal's over. You got the three. Well, let me talk to my superiors. Three. <laughs> the fuck! <laughs> Fucking asshole, what the fuck are you doing? God Aww, damn it! Did that upset you? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the fun's over, Hancho. Ten million right now. And you fuck with me, it'll be ten million more. Throw in the split tail. Okay, asshole. You made your point. You're a nice piece of ass, honey. What are you doing with Limp Dick? Pig. You have no idea. Hey, fuck off! Where's the girl? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a call in a little while. I'll let you know where you can find Victoria. Come on, darling. Making money makes me horny. You gave that psychopath our money just like that? Yeah, well, he's not as dumb as he looks. Nobody outruns the agency. Part three, Blackwater Park. All right, I'm ready, let's do it. We have revenge to get. Now is the time is nine. Now, the other cool thing is this time, if I end up just slaughtering everyone like a bunch of animals, what the, I have C4, awesome. Anyway, um, if I end up slaughtering everyone like a bunch of animals, I actually not even gonna feel bad because they are all bad guys. So if it, end up, if it ends up coming to that, I'm not even gonna be mad. Like, if, if it comes to that, so be it. Hey, boys. Are you friendly? Well, you're silent and wet. Haha, <laughs> wet. Alright, sorry. Um, looks like there is things over here, but of course, I, I bet you money I'm not allowed to cross that barrier. I'll bet you money, honey. Alright. The, the other thing that really cracks me up is the fact that I was driving a hearse. I was like, if there's anything Hitman should be driving, it's definitely a hearse. There wouldn't happen to be anything like super special. They're like, you know, we hit we hit an assault rifle over here. We didn't think you'd look. Uh, yeah, it's not really looking like it, is it? Yeah, look at all these guys, man. This is gonna be tough, and I don't have any instinct either. So, all right, we'll just step on it briefly. Anything? All right. Oh my gosh, that was close. Okay, so we can do this just like this, but we're going to have to be careful because I actually am allowed right here, but if I cross this stone, whatever it is, box, then I won't be. So, so we can do it. We're going to have to be careful. Oh, that guy patrols away. Well, that's lucky. There we go. Wow, there's freaking guards everywhere here, dude. Uh, there's guys over there, and then there's a guy over there. Problem is, there's enough. There's guys over here too. See. Is there two guys over there? It looks like there's two guys and then there's someone else over there. So there's actually three guys over there. I was about to say, I just saw the map and saw that there was someone possibly approaching. Now those two over there, I don't know if they can see 
see me this far. And these guards do not fool around, so. See, now there's a guard there. Yeah, this is going to be tough, man. If I move too far, it's over. So there's the guard right there, and then there's the two over there. Now, one of them, I only think one of them is the guard. I think that guy might be a plumber or something. So I would love to take his disguise. I would just have to find a very very careful way of picking off Huey and Dewey. Or at least knocking him out or something. So yeah, they don't patrol very far from that guy. So I would have to wait for a blind spot for both of them. Possible, but possibly dangerous. Yeah, like I said, I think it's possible, but it's not going to be easy. Oh my... Okay, that was close. Alright, he can see me. Don't be deceived, kids. I thought, oh, that's it. His back's turned, but... Easy. I don't think they go too far. Yeah, see? They, they, they don't go too far. So when they both turn around... No idea if this is gonna work. We're good. Those guys over there didn't hear us. All right, that was dangerous, but we did it. Ooh. Okay. Holy cow! That was that was scary. Okay, now let's see if we can hide these bodies. Okay, we're good. We're good. It was scary, but we're good. No problem. Let's just go ahead and hide these guys. Because we are clear. We didn't get seen. And we gained a little bit of instinct. So, that's definitely good news. Now, we don't have to worry about grabbing the... Uh, about getting their disguises before we drop them in. Because we can pick them up even when they're inside. So, if we want to grab disguises, that will be possible. Uh, he has a disguise too, and we might grab, end up grabbing his. I feel like his is probably going to be better because there's a, there's a thousand guards in there. So, yeah, there is like a million guards in there, so it, that will be a little bit scary. Now we have to be a little bit careful when we drop the body in because this guard might see us. So we'll have to just wait till he patrols away. But I think it'll be all right. And there's a guard I think way over there somewhere, but they're way over there. But there's a guard right over here that peeks over the side of this little railing. As soon as he turns around, then we'll drop the body in there. Because I don't want to take any chances. Now that we're this far. Turn around, come on. You're not actually interested. Let's not pretend. There we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, here we go, now we're dressed up as whatever, I think I'm a janitor, or a plumber, or a gardener, or something. I'm something like that. Okay, so we have a bat, which does count as being armed, of course. We have C4, we have that pistol we picked up, we have the machine gun with very few bullets, and we have our silencer, so our silver baller. Alright, so now we can poke around a little bit without being as scared. So that gives us some freedom. And we hit the bodies, so and it doesn't I don't think anyone patrols that far over, so I think we'll be alright. And I think as long as we stay outside we'll be okay as far as this disguise is concerned. I don't know if there's any place he's not allowed to be or what. Now there was a Okay, so there's another place to dump bodies, but Alright, let's actually go around. And I'm hesitant to run because apparent it draws attention even if I mean, everyone would be like, hey, what are you doing? If you, like, even if you jog, so you you gotta kind of be careful when you start sprinting everywhere. Ooh, this does something. 
Saw a baseball bat with a wrench. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Turn water pump off. This will stop the water pumping, obviously. That's rude. And again, one less person to recognize me, alright? Alright, let's see. I gotta find a place to hide that body. Oh. Okay. This rain. Okay, good. Now we can hide this guy and that guy in the in this very near little uh, little spot, because then there's less people to recognize me. And I didn't kill him, so that'll help our points. <laughs> oh, it's other side. All right. But I didn't want to go too far because there is people up in the above parking lot, so. Alright, so we don't. Yeah, see, because there's got people right there, so you gotta be kinda careful. Now that dude's back his turn, so. We can be a little bit careful. But, I mean, we, we can we, we can do it. We just gotta be a little bit easy. Alright. Can you dump them in there? Oh, you can! How convenient! Oh. Okay, that guy's in there, so we're officially safe. There's a gasoline can. I prefer my bat. Now let's see what other goodies we got in here. So we have first aid. I think we needed a little bit, kind of a top off. Uh, nothing else to write home about. I think this is like janitor headquarters or something. Yeah, that guy definitely has our disguise too. Again, it's easier if you don't kill them because then there's no blood pool or anything. And then they don't have to find anything. Alright, come on. Let's go. Don't exit that room. You don't need to see this as I drag his body away. There we go. Oh no! Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Shoot. Alright, somehow they saw me. It's unfortunate. Well, that sucks. We were doing so well. Well, all right. Well, now they're coming towards me, so. But it's not that bad because again, they don't know where I am. If you're gonna come this way, hurry up and do it, bro. Up. Oh. They're telling other guards. Well, now we gotta be careful, because now they all know. <laughs> what 
There's nowhere to hide the body anyway, so... It's just one less dude to deal with. What? Obviously. <laughs> Less people to know, man. Less people to know. Alright, so there's one dude up there, and he's upset, but... Okay. Let's go. Alright, we, we, we contained it. It wasn't great, but we contained it. Now, the real question here. With bottle... Anything else in here, or is it just like... What's up with that? Well, there's a car alarm. We could see how many of these of this draws them away. <laughs> what kind of car alarm is that? It sounds like a bus. <laughs> it sounds like a like 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 a bus or something. Me, <laughs> me. It's like a backup alarm for like an old bus. That's what it is. Yeah, cautious, but you don't even leave. He's just like that was weird, and he just ignores it. <laughs> like, come on, what kind of guard are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's not perfect, but uh, we found lots of disguises and stuff over here. Now, I don't know if those security guards are going to recognize this outfit. Or what? If they do, I'm probably screwed. One way to find out. Yep, they do. Well, there you go. That makes that makes this disguise not quite as useful as one might like. All right, where's that other guard? He's crouching over there. I think I can take this guy quietly. Okay. All right, come on. Let's hide the body so we don't get blamed for anything. Oops. Yeah. And goodbye. Uh, yeah. I take a shotgun over a ye over that any day of the week. Okay. So. Like there was more than one. It won't go away. Oh, hang on. I think I think we're good. The other guy didn't look. Turn around. Go investigate. Get closer. I should have done it right there. Hello. I'm a police officer. I'll take you in. Whoever. You're actually a security guard. Hate to be the one to tell you. All right. I was holding my garage. What the heck, man? That's just. That's just. That's just fooey. I don't know why I did that. I had my, uh, whatchamacallit out. I had this out. I was gonna choke him out, man. That's, that's ridiculous. This place is clean. Continue sweep. Don't sweep too far. Well, this is just going awesome. This guy, checking in, awaiting orders.
They didn't see me. It's fine. That dude's scared to death, but also it doesn't matter. Guards are alerted now, though. Awesome. Eventually, we'll just have to probably have to kill everybody. Let's just stand here and wait for more guards to come. For the love, man. For the love. Yeah, obviously. All right. Well, I guess we'll just start slowly killing everybody. Sir, I think somebody's been killed. You have to come. This is this is freaking me out. Please come on. See, there you go. Just have to kill literally everybody. All right, are we good now? Can I move on with my life? Guess we'll slowly start moving everyone's bodies. There, now I have double of the of these. Now I have two pistols. All right, okay, let's slowly start moving everyone's bodies. Quickly though, there's a guard coming. Okay, so all the bodies are hidden. I'll probably just cut out me dragging all their bodies slowly but surely. Um, I just want to double check and make sure there's nothing incredible hiding out here, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so now we've hidden all the bodies. We got my bat back and everything, so we're good to go there. But now we can work on our infiltration of getting inside. Now the problem, of course, is that uh, is there's going to be a lot more guards inside, and this outfit is obviously a guard's outfit. So that's going to be an, a thing. Oh, actually, I think these guys aren't, aren't guards. These guys aren't guards. Oh, also not a guard. Excuse me. Hi. Nothing over here. Again, these guys are all freaking out, but with with knife, that'd be a good one. But it'd be a little probably conspicuous to start snatching the knife in front of all those guys. Ooh. Let me just stealthy stealthy in here. Huh. There was a vent in the garage? Oh, that just makes me ill. All that was for nothing. There was a vent in the freaking garage. Man. That would have led in here. I mean, I don't know if I can enter it, so maybe that kind of makes me feel better. Maybe I maybe I wasn't maybe I couldn't have even gone in it. I probably could have. That's what kills me. I probably could have. And there was a vent in here too? I I could just cry like a small child. I could have been done this so much easier. There was two vents, both of which led to the led to locations I was already at. Ugh, gross. It's just awesome. It's awesome. All that was for nothing. Can you believe that? I did all of that for just the fun of it. With the fire extinguisher. I feel like the knife would be better, but Yoink. I'm just gonna risk it. There we go. It worked out. No big deal. The knife the knife is more easy like easier to kill people with in close quarters. All right, now there's guards, so now we got to be careful. It it does really suck though that there was like all of this other options we could have done. Okay, jeez, chill. Uh, don't you tell me to relax. I know my rights, Mister. Okay, and I got people bitching at me about not being able to leave. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you really love your job, huh? <laughs> don't get me started. Yeah, I think I already have. <laughs> okay, what is my objective? Hit him where it hurts. Blackwater Sorry, Blackwater. Park, oh. A building under siege. Dexter will be expecting my arrival. I took his son. If he is mad enough to take on the agency, would he also sacrifice Victoria to get back at me? I need to be careful. But one way or the other, this is where it ends. Oh. See, look, like I didn't, I, I never even opened this. But you can like look at, uh, you can like look at all of this stuff. You know what I mean? You can like grab all of these things and all the, and all of this stuff, so you can make sure you know what you have and everything. You know, so you can, like, if you were, if you were doing this to work on challenges for like, if there's an achievements for it, which I'm assuming there is, that would, that would matter. Okay, so I have to find Dexter, which means I have to move elsewhere. But look at all the freaking guards, dude. Getting one of those guys would be sweet. Gain access to the penthouse. 
Problem is, I could jump that guy, but there is nowhere to hide the body in here. Yo. Crap. Double crap. Problem is I could I could choke one out, but they will know it was me. I might have made a mistake. Nope, not gonna stop. This is where it all falls apart. Alright. As if we didn't know it was coming to this. Alright, that's it. They're all bad guys anyway. Everyone dies. Which even if they weren't, they crossed me, which means they are my enemy, so... Isn't that by itself a good enough reason? Someone just brought it, someone has a big gun. I love it when you can just get a super easy kill. Come on, boys. You want to run, run into the choke some more? Hola. Nope. Let's swap it with radio. A UMP. There's not a lot of... I mean, it would be easier to grab a UMP because there's way more of them have this gun. There's very few shotgun people in here, unfortunately. Ooh. Convenient. Here they come. Why would you... Why is this the plan? I have a knife! Man, that was stupid. I was holding the knife, and he's like, alright, let's silently choke him out. I'd be like, choke choke him out. This is, this is what, you, what, what is the plan here? It's just an interesting decision, when I have a knife out. You're requested right here. I think I wounded that guy because he's. I think he's yelling. <laughs> In some ways, I'm actually. I'm not even mad that the, it happened this way because, like, this is the bad guy's headquarters. So it's like, in, in, some, in a lot of ways, it's kind of fitting for it to end like this. Hup. I got one. There we go. They're like, where the heck did he get? Let's see. Problem is, I don't know if this round counts as my other ammo, because I'd rather use my silver baller. It'll hit a lot harder, even if it is silenced. I don't want to run into that, like, that flanking attack they have going on there. Oh, look. Idiots.
Yeah, see, it does count for the same ammo. So yeah, I, I won't use that gun over my silver baller. Scarrow that. Decisions, decisions. The ammo? So much pistol ammo. Oh dear. I don't think they know I'm in here, do they? Yeah, we're good. Hey, look, my health is regening. Okay, because I, I think because they don't know where I am, I think my health is regening. Hang on. Give me a minute here. Okay, time to go. I think I don't think my health is regening anymore. Or if it is, it's doing it so slowly that it's like it's just it's easier to risk it somewhere else. Uh -huh. That'll help me be invisible. Huh. Ah, oh, first aid. Tempt me, tempt me. Potty might st Yeah, someone's dead. I'm like, oh man, imagine that. What is this disguise? Well, I guess someone would find out. Oh, same disguise I'm already using. Alright. Good stuff. Oh, you're a guard. Excuse me, officer. You're right, thank you, sir. Oh, I had to disable that retinal scanner. All right, hang on. Where did I find that? It might be back this way. I was like, ooh, but oh, I'm um, this guy's not allowed in here. Oh, made it. All right, we're good. That was close. It's not safe here, sir. Move out now. Okay. As you say, officer. Where is that security office? Somewhere I saw that there was like disable retinal scanner. It has to be back this way because I've only been in this type of, you know, I've only been in this way, this area. So, he thinks it has to be, there it is, right there. Right there. Okay, we, we have to risk it right here. All right, we're good. Hey. All right, now I, may, I say it said like hack and something. I'm wondering if there is two parts to this. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Goodbye, everybody. Mission accomplished. Good job, team. Silent as silent as a ghost. Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Yes, sir, Ray. You know, they say wealth can be a great burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. Holy shit! Yes! That's a lot of fucking do-re-me right there, and that's ours! That's mine! Your 
buy yourself some lipstick. God damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah. What? Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take to kill this son of a bitch? I want him dead right now. You kill him right now, you hear me? You think you can do that? No, of course you can't do that, because you're a bunch of fucking pussies. I have to do fucking everything around here. Easy, Jesus baby. fucking Christ. It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. That bald fuck is coming to kick my ass. Jesus, no, fuck. Layla's got what it takes to stop any man. You know, I think you might have something there. I'm counting on you. Come on, Angel. Let's go. I'm counting on you. I got this. she thinks she's gonna stop me that's funny <laughs> that's funny what the oh he's like a cheese delivery guy what sushi deliver guy it's not number 55 on the 22nd floor it's number 22 on it's number 25 it's number 55 on the second floor Jesus <laughs> sushi guy <laughs> I just like stand a little farther away Dyslexia? Oh, God. Oh, you think I got 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 dyslexia? O
how the music is just going. I'm like, relax. I didn't even get caught. Can you believe that just worked that well? I just assassinated her in the elevator. And then, like, popped the guards that caught me and got clear and hid the bodies and got escaped with no problems. Can you believe that it went that well? <laughs> What's funny is they probably give you all these ways of killing her and, like, all of these super fanciful strategies. And they're just like, yeah, you can do this, but you have to do this, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do this. And I'm just like, dead. Let's see, with a radio. Ooh, a key card. You never know. Oh, a freaking sniper rifle. I want it. Look at, all, look at all the toys. There's a freaking bong. I mean, I... Oh, dear. There's a bat. All kinds of toys. Shoot. I'm not allowed to be in here, yo. Is there anyone else to go? There might be a window. Darn it. Boys, I need you to move your puppy guarding. It's not fair. Don't you have you never played tag? No one like people that puppy guard. That's what they called it when I was young. I don't know if that's the I don't know if that's what everyone called it. It's like, you know, it's like it's like when you played freeze tag as a kid and then like whoever was it would just freeze someone and stand bes right beside them so no one could unfreeze them. Well, I, everyone I ever knew always called it puppy guarding. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be called, but whatever. Whatever. If this guy enters this room, I'm screwed because I'll have to kill him immediately. And if I do that, then that guy's gonna see me. But the guy just said he doesn't want any. He like, you know, Mr. Doctor doesn't want people coming inside. So we might have that going for us. Come on, bro. Turn your back, man. I mean, one of the guys is walking up and down the hall, so that's a problem. But the other guy is just literally standing by the door here. Okay, I have one idea. Turning to weather. The recent heavy downpour will clear up within the hour in the Chicago area. Currently forecasting. Really? Forecasting the high. They're not interested. Get this. 65 later this night. We'll turn it off then because it's worthless. Oh, for baseball bat. Okay. Oh. What's my objective? We shot the girl in the face. Blank Find the panic park. room. A Dexter's in the roof. Siege. Only way is up through Dexter the back exit of the panic room. Planning his retreat can't allow him to escape. Okay. Okay, which means I have to get off this. I have to get out of this room. But they've trapped me. I feel like I, maybe I have to pop around the corner and execute them, I think. Because I can't. There's no other way out, I don't think. Maybe we can hold instinct and just escape. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, we're good, just like that. I don't know what I was freaking out about. All right, so there's a bro chacho over there. Stay alert. Possible situation. Oh, he's gonna walk down the stairs. Plus, there's nine hundred thousand guys over there. Where's he going? Up the stairs. That guy's going down the stairs. Holy guards, Batman. So the panic room is what, downstairs? Yeah, it's definitely downstairs. Crud, dude. I don't, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out of here, yo. Problem is, there's always two guys there. These guys are smart, man. They're hunting in pairs. It's like they're actually professional. Also, I could poison her, like that that sushi or that food, is one one way of doing it. There's also a window over there, which would have been awesome. But there there was a window over there that I couldn't enter. I can enter that one. So the question is, do you think I could just hold instinct and just walk down there? Tempting. But man, that would be hard to get us get away with. Again, I have to just risk it. Damn it! 
Oh, that's it. With fire poker. Eh, that might be fun. Quickly, quickly, they're coming back. Oh, man. Oh, he's coming at me. That's it. Man, I think someone's hurt. Approaching with caution. Over. Oh, he's going to watch me jump on the body. Yep. Oh, shh. He is in pain. I shot that man where no one wants to be shot. To be fair, no one wants to be shot anywhere, but that's also one of the places where you don't want to be shot, right? But it matters not. We are slowly cleaning up my mess. Okay. Well, that was, uh, dangerous. Okay, now the question is, where the frick does this lead? Sorry, I, everything works in slow motion when you're in instinct, which is actually nice, of course, because that's why instinct is so good. But, uh... Darn it, how the heck do you get there? You think that guy's gonna recognize me? Oh, we're good. Oh, I wasn't that hurt, but. Ooh, what are this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Okay. We are now a samurai. Escape. <laughs> As I would just walk around in my casual samurai outfit. Panic room reached. Pick up phone. I just want to be sure there's nothing else fancy in here. Okay. Layla, get your ass up here. We're leaving. And you, move. Inside the chopper. I'm gonna take you apart atom by atom and breed you like a prize bull. Oh, don't look so shocked, girl. After all, they grew you in a test tube. My lab should be right at home. Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. <laughs> no, this is just too goddamn precious. You bastard! Get away from me! <laughs> oh, man, get him! Get him, Victoria! Oh my gosh, she's assassinating them! Get him, Victoria! All the kills, so many kills! Yes, she's like me! She's doing 47 proud! Look at the kills! No! Oh! Oh! What a beast! No! She did so well, she got like 8 kills! What a beast! Man, she's the real MVP. All right, so uh, it didn't go perfect, but the penthouse part went great. Can you believe that? So there was, see, there was a uh, 74U, which I think I did see, but I just wasn't interested. Uh, there was a Spaz 12 I didn't get. There was, Layla had a special version of a crap pistol, so congratulations. There was a plumber outfit. I got the Samurai, uh, funnily enough. I got everything. There was a bottle, a coffee mug. I saw all that, didn't bother. There's a Morning Star in there somewhere. There's a statue bust, a Tamahawk. There's a Tamahawk in a lot of levels. And then there's a lot of mastery stuff. Uh, Hit him where it hurts is a new one for, for this one. Uh, the crash course, which was like the projector thing. 
hack and backslash, which is like disabling the retinal scanner, stuff like that. Cool, man. All right. Well, I think that'll be a great place to call it. So let's go ahead and hop on the main menu. I want to see, like, did that count as one mission or two? Because I think the did did that count as two? So yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I am not sure, man. I understand. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Is it at eight? It's at 18, okay. So that did count as two. Because the first one was the suit mission. So I think next episode might be the last part. So I think Wednesday might be our might be the finale of Hitman. Um, because I think it'll be worth pushing through just a little bit longer to do one extra mission. Because then you can wrap it up in one more video. So I think next part might be the final, uh, well, might slash probably be the final Hitman part. So that's really exciting. Uh, this episode was a mixed bag, but all in all, I think it went well. Um, we did upgrade our suit. Now we're wearing a samurai outfit because we're cool that way and uh, that went well we got lots of kills Layla got absolutely assassinated uh, mostly because I was trying to be the ninja sushi outfit guy but uh, I couldn't pass up the opportunity of shooting Layla in the face where it was nice and easy there's lots of ways to kill her um, I think you can like poison her sushi or something there's lots of ways but I find the easiest way of course is right just like that you hop down the elevator immediately and you pop her in the head and uh, she doesn't see you, you kill the most of the guys, it worked really well, so mission accomplished on that one. Anyway, that is going to call it for this one, I will be recording part one of our brand new main game right after this, so stay tuned if you are so interested. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.